So it's a beautiful sunny day out here. The birds are singing. Absolutely, absolutely loving that spring is actually here. I know I've been saying that for ages, but spring is here and I'm proper feeling the love today. So I wanted to talk today about everyday carry. Um, a lot of people have been asking me what they should put in their everyday carry or even what everyday carry is. So everyday carry is what you would, well, says it on the tin really, what you would carry every day. Um, as a prepper, this can be different things for different people. Obviously what I carry every day would include a bushcraft knife and a hatchet. That might not be normal carry equipment for somebody that lives in a civilization and is going to work in an office job. So again, it's all going to be um, dependent on on what your what your civilization status is um, for what your everyday carry is but i think that there are some basics and the five c's of survival are a really really good place to start so if you can see this this is a tiny little black molly bag this is part of my everyday carry this has the five C's of survival in here and I shall show you what they are. So first of all, what do we get? We have, okay, so we have combustion, the ability to make fire. Um, you can hear my friend in the background chopping some wood over there, gonna keep us nice and warm later. So as you can see, I have wrapped this. Uh, this is my char tin. So as you can see, I have wrapped this in a handkerchief, which if I needed to, I could use to make more char cloth. And what do I have in my lovely char tin? Um, in my char tin, I have, I have a box of matches because never keep just one means of fire making with you. Always go for at least three, four, yeah, there are as many backups for fire. And I don't care how hardcore you think you are at bushcraft, but you should always, I think, carry some fire lighters because, yeah, you're just going to want to use them sometimes. And that is part of being prepared. Um, so then I have... What else do I have? Oh, I have some lovely pieces of birch bark. I have some nice pieces of char cloth. So yeah, this is all part of my combustion kit. Um, and then again, as I said, a couple of methods of making fire. So I have a ferro rod here. Um, I really like ferro rods. They're really, really easy to use. Um, I do have a piece of flint and um, I've got a... Uh, this is beaver bushcraft. I absolutely love the fact you can make jewellery out of fire lights, fire strikers now. Um, so this is my fire striker. Show you that there. That is, I absolutely love that. And it does actually work. I was really, really surprised. I thought buying something mainly as a jewellery reason, um, it wouldn't be that great. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do a video about uh, fire striking, fire starting at some point and you'll get to see it in action. Um, so yeah, so again, one method of fire starting. I do really like the ferro rod. Like I was saying, they are really, really, really easy to use, really easy to get a good spark off of, especially like if you if you lose your like part of it, they're normally tied together. Flint and steel strikers, if you've lost your bit of flint um, or you can't find any flint or quartz around and you're a little bit stuck. Um, but yeah, so there you go, that is that is combustion sorted. So what have we got next in uh, in my five C's survival? We have aha. So we have the uh, we have cutting, a cutting implement. So for me, because I like to keep my um, my emergency bag quite small, I would normally carry if I was bugging out, I'd be carrying an axe and all sorts of other useful stuff in case zombies happen because you can never rule these things out. Um, so yeah, so cutting tool, that's really important. Um, then what else have we got? We have, oh, so cordage. Cordage is absolutely brilliant with a bit of cordage, a bit of paracord. Even if you can make your own own cordage out of like nettles or roots, then you can make an A-frame tent, um, or you can you can start to make a shelter. You can tie things together. Absolutely useful. Absolutely essential. Um, right, what have we got next? We have aha. Right, this is this is my shiny metal space blanket. So cover cover is really really important 
if you're out and you're booking out then carrying something that is going to give you protection from the elements is so important you'll be able to see as well I'm uh, I do I do quite like the uh, the cloak fashion um, my nice like uh, nice woolen layer is keeping me nice and cozy and to be honest I stopped giving up on fashion when civilization um, was a little bit terrible so I left it um, so yeah bring back the cloaks they are such a functional thing and this is literally just a blanket that's pegged with like a granular brooch it's uh, it's so comfy um, so yeah so this is also my cover but these space blankets, things, whatever they're called, they are absolutely fantastic. If you ever end up in a situation where you're exposed to the elements or you're succumbing to hypothermia, then these are something that take up absolutely, like, pretty much zero room, like, hardly any size, hardly any weight to them. Every good prepper should carry at least a couple in their pack. Um, so I think that is four of the five. And oh, we have container. So container, that is important. If you're bugging out and you've got your survival kit, then you're going to need something that you can drink from, you can collect water in and that you can cook in. So it could be something fancy like a, um, you know, nice canteen, or it could be anything as simple as just a metal cup. I've eaten meals out of this. I've cooked from this. Um, does pretty much the same job. Um, the only like downside from using something, say like this, with a lid on, is that well, it doesn't have a lid on. But uh, but yeah, those are the five C's. So you've got your combustion devices, you've got your cutting, you've got your cordage, you've got your cover, and you've got your container. And if I've missed anything, my maths is absolutely terrible. Um, so yeah, if you've been enjoying my videos, like and subscribe to my channel. I've been amazed at how many people have been watching. Um, but yeah, so this is this is me in the hedgerow enjoying the bird song. And yeah, take care, guys.